case of online activism, and this time ended with some positive results. Sparked by a Facebook video, Syracuse police say they were able to identify 35-year-old Robert Loth and eventually make an arrest. Loth was featured in a video from the group Parents Against Predators Nationwide. Police say Loth thought he was meeting with an underage teen. But as News Channel 9's Rob Hackford explains, these sorts of cases don't always end well. I know why you're here, man. You want to talk about it for a minute? The exchange between Robert Loth and the group Parents Against Predators Nationwide was posted on Facebook early Sunday morning. And by Monday night, Loth was in custody. We can't deny the fact that we wouldn't know um, necessarily uh, about this particular perpetrator had they not put that video out. But the video and, and the content that they generated is generally unusable. Jeremy Kelly is the Special Victims Bureau Chief for the Onondaga County District Attorney's Office. He says cases like this where the public gets involved should be left to law enforcement for two very important reasons, safety and the need for professional evidence. Investigations have to be done by professionals who know how to do investigations so that the evidence is usable so that we can actually go to court and prosecute and hold someone accountable. We can't do that with the stuff that these groups generate. Why are you doing this? You Kelly says it's a delicate balance, but one worth addressing. You know, in response to the people that are commenting on this video, this is a great thing that they're doing for the community. They're helping people in the long run. You know, what would your response be to them? Because from a lot of people's perspectives, that's what they're doing. Yeah, you know, I, I guess my response to them would be there is a lot of bad people who are trying to hurt kids that, that law enforcement's pursuing. Um, this one, this particular case, went okay so far, um, and this particular individual has been arrested. I couldn't guarantee that that would be the case every time. And uh, whether or not what this particular group does would always or ever again lead to an actual arrest, boy, there's a lot of variables between what they're doing and the ability to hold someone accountable and arrest them. Um, this one went right. Well, Kelly says his office is regularly prosecuting cases like this and says as soon as people have any sort of a lead, they should turn the info over to police. It saves time and keeps people out of harm's way. Loth will be back in court on the 18th. Rob, thank you. Loth is currently being held at the Onondaga County Justice Center Jail, but the investigation goes on. Anyone with information about Loth should call police at 315-435-3016.